Alright guys, so I'm back here again with another video. Um, if you saw the previous one, you realize uh, it didn't take long for me to get started on this giant fishbowl. Um, I haven't really done a video like this in a while. Um, you know, I'm not one that really likes to spend a whole lot of time editing videos. I kind of just point the camera, shoot it, upload it, and there I go. But you know, some of my concerns with doing videos like this is I don't really have the proper equipment. Um, but it's been a while since I've done a video like this as far as a, an actual escaping uh, video. So I'm going to try this. Bear with me if it gets a little long. But, you know, obviously I want this to look nice. Um, so hang in there. Um, let's, let's talk about what I have right now. So I have the bowl. Um, I have the substrate in there. This substrate is a mixture of... Uh, fluval stratum, which you can see there. I mixed in some potting soil. Uh, I mixed a little bit of um, this sand right here to give it a little more consistency to help with the plants holding on to it. Uh, speaking of plants, I've got a couple different types of rotala, got some wisteria, got uh, what an Amazon sword. I've got some crypts over here in this bag got some rocks I am going to cap it again with sand um, and kind of start setting this up and see what uh, see what I come up with as far as filtration I am going to run a small uh, sponge filter so I have um, a sponge filter going to that four gallon tank I'm just going to use a splitter and uh, run some tubing just to give it some filtration and some surface agitation so let me start uh, working with the rocks, see what I come up with, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I think I'm pretty happy with this layout here. Um, you know, I picked these three rocks up today um, just because I thought they would look well with the sand uh, and the plants. Um, let me see if I can zoom in so you can get a... There's apologize for the glare, but... Um, there's kind of the best look I can give you at the rocks. Uh, I've used similar rocks like this before. They kind of have the same color tones as, as Dragonstone, but all in all, I think I'm pretty happy with this uh, with this layout um, of the rocks. I'm not going to use any wood or anything like that. Um, I have enough room back here for a sponge filter and some plants. Got some room up here. Probably going to put the crypts up front. Um, so let me, uh, let me start planting. Alright guys, so I'm back. And, uh, man oh man. Um, you, you know how you have an idea in your head? And you're just certain it's going to work? And, you know, you, uh, you, you think you have all the right material and you just know it's going to work out. And... Uh, I guess, you know, I'll, I'll use a phrase, you, you, you fill the tank up and everything goes wrong. Everything you thought you had did right, everything you thought would work, completely backfired. That's kind of what happened here. Um, I started out trying to edit the video and do an aquascaping video because I haven't done one in a while. Um... Needless to say, I got to a point where I thought I was good, everything was going to work, and everything kind of fell apart. Let me let me let me tell you what happened. So, you originally saw the video that I uh, kind of filled this up with water and, and and saw the water volume that we could work with, thinking, hey, you know, I could maybe even put a couple fish in here, <laughs> um, but. The, the, I guess the, 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 the way this tank is set up from a physical standpoint, the fact that it's a bowl, that's kind of where I misjudge things. So you'll see um, probably in the early part of this video, because I guess I'll, I'll add that clip in, because I, I shot it, so I'll add it in, um, where I you know have, have the substrate in here. I talk about the substrate, the mixture of soil, sand, and um, fluval stratum. And I've got a nice layer at the bottom. And I said, let me start planting. Well, when I started planting, I realized that because of the shape of the bowl, it wasn't as deep as I thought. So I had rocks in here. I had it already capped off with sand. And had my tweezers, started planting. 
and I kept scratching the bottom, and I was like, why am I, why am I, you know, still, still scratching glass, and it's simply because I didn't go deep enough with the substrate, so let me just back up here a second, and maybe you can see, essentially, how deep I had to go with the substrate so that the plants, you know, or that my tweezers weren't scratching the bottom, or that I had enough, you know, um, substrate in there that the plants would actually, um, you know, hold on to. And anyone who's ever used a dirty tank knows the, the, you know, the inevitable possibilities that, you know, if you, you know, do it wrong and you mess things up, you could have a mess on your hands. Luckily, I didn't do that. I think mixing, you know, the the sand with the the fluval stratum and the soil, I think that really kind of kept things pretty compact in there. The plants actually did go in pretty secure. I didn't have any uh, any of the soil seeping up through the through the water. Um, so so that part I was happy with. But you know, I, as I look at it now, I probably only have a you know a third, or I've used a third of of what I thought would be available as far as aquascaping and maybe even stocking down the road um, uh, because these bowls you have to go pretty deep when it comes to the substrate just from the physical shape of the tank and that and that kind of that, that curve thing that's going on however um, learning that lesson and when things started to come together and things started to flow um, really this is you know my kind of first go around and something like this and this this is fun this isn't something that I see myself you know having long term this is kind of one of those experiments to see if I can actually do it maintain it and make it work um, like I said I've been seeing a lot of videos um, of, of things like this the giant wine glasses or champagne glasses the giant bowls and I'll be honest with you they look really really cool so I wanted to try it um, you know, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I went with this pendulum, pendulum light right here. I think that's what it's called. I forget. Instead of that desk lamp, I really think that uh, makes the tank, the tank pop. Uh, the rocks, um, I think, came together well. I've even got a little tunnel right here. So if I do put something in there, and again, I have no idea what I'm going to put in there. Um, we'll kind of play that by ear. Um, the plants look good, the crypts look good, the uh, Rotala look good, um, the Amazon sword is back there and I do, I, I was able to fit a sponge filter so I've got the service ag agitation that I wanted, I've got some filtration, I don't have a heater, I could sneak a heater back there but I don't, I don't know if I'm even going to stock this, if, if I do, you know, decide to put a heater, probably going to be a better, um, I was maybe even thinking I keep it cold maybe I can get away with some white clouds because I know those are uh, those fish will, will do okay in cold water um, but for now I kind of like it the way it is um, you know I love this kind of magnification uh, magnifying um, kind of feel that the, that the bowl gives to you almost the way a bow front tank does um, you know the rocks look huge in there the plants look really big the tank looks full even though it's not really, so it gives you kind of that illusion. Um, you know, I uh, got some accent rocks down in there too. So I'm really, really happy with the way it came together. Now, with, you know, it's just a challenge of, like I said, maintaining it and, um, you know, trying to make it work over time. Um, you know, I might get some melt with the crypts. We'll see what these, you know, plants do. Um, we'll see how the lighting works. And, um, you know, if it's, if it's able to sustain itself, then um, maybe we'll consider putting, um, you know, some small fish in here. Maybe, you know, even some snails or something like that. Um, something easy um, to manage. But this is a final look at it, guys. Um, you know, I, I got everything home today and I uh, was thinking maybe I would just wait a day. But I was so damn excited and I really wanted to see what I could put together. Let me know what you guys think. I think it looks awesome, uh, you know, for my first go around. Um, you know, I do see some things I could have done differently, um, but for my first go around, I'm absolutely pleased with it. Let me know what you guys think or if any other, you know, ideas that came to mind that maybe you guys would have done. 
maybe I can try after a couple water changes, things like that. Let me know down in the comment sections. Other than that, guys, as always, I'll talk to you guys down the road. Bye.